Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Thing just sets the fence off. Let me let me straighten up. Look at that. Yeah, that 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 really uh kind of gives the fence some um, character. Ah oh, man, look at that. Yes, really sets it off, man. You know, from a distance, just seeing the um the blue lights just just floating in the air, it really gives the uh the fence a nice look. Yes, y'all. So today I'm gonna be doing a review of my solar powered post caps as you can see this one here in order to fit the post cap because these wood they split um and uh, that's been a big issue um you know i should have gotten a uh, post cap installed immediately um but for the most part i'm just going to keep an eye on this um this post itself and see um i as you can see i, I have a zip tie but the rest of them they're really good um, as you can see, I'm testing my hand out, and it's it's kind of hard to to see the paint, which I'll show in another um, in another um, video, because I'm still um, learning the whole paint process. But as far as the um, solar caps, um, I'll go over them and why I'm doing this video. All right, y'all. So today I'll be doing a review of the solar powered post caps, and. This is a brand by, I call it Veranda. This is Veranda. I call it Veranda. Veranda. Um, I'll put the uh, the proper spelling in the description below. Um, uh, a co-worker of mine was um, curious about how my uh, fence came out. So I, I figured I... Um, I told her I would send her a picture, but the picture really didn't do much justice because I really wanted to show her how the post caps look, how uh, how it really enhanced the fence itself. And I chose these for, uh, post caps here. Um, I have some extra ones just in case. Um, these usually come with uh, two screws in, inside of them and um, the instruction manual here. Um... And this is the actual post cap itself here. So it's like a little birdhouse. That's what I was. And my attire, I'm a little bit messy. I've been doing yard work. Um, it's just it's it's pretty basic. Uh, the cap twists off, and it it um it houses the uh, the battery that charges from the solar panel throughout the day. And when you um when you're installing it, you would remove this uh this little strip here, and just insert it back on to there. Um, the two screws you put in here, you put in here. Um, you're possibly gonna need a drill with a bit, uh Phillips bit, because I think they all come with a Phillips screw in them Phillips yeah Phillips Phillips head um probably probably a longer bit um so you can get a better bite and make sure that the bit is a proper bit for the screw make sure you place it in there make sure it sits properly um because once you start it starts going it'll it'll bounce off and round it out um I used a screwdriver because at the time I um I don't know I, I oh I didn't have a charger for my drill so um yeah I used a screwdriver and I went around and I uh, installed all of them. Um some of the um some of the cons and I and I have it written down here. Some of the stuff um that I had issue was was um some of the times it the, the caps weren't working and I kept changing them out um periodically because I thought it was the caps. Um sometimes they just I have uh four th four trees around my yard so sometimes they just didn't get enough sunlight and they might have only they're not they're not going to work throughout the whole entire night you know if 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 the night is a, if it's a long night you probably will probably go out maybe around 1 2 o'clock at night you know so when they first come on they're beautiful but they they're battery powered and they're solely running off the battery so um after a few hours they um they'll go out and like i said uh sometimes they um 
they may not they may not work depending on sunlight so it's not necessarily that something is wrong with the the cap itself it just maybe didn't receive enough sunlight um periodically you want to clean so you you want to take the the cap off the little cover off when you install it on the post and periodically you just want to get a rag or a wet paper towel or something like that i'm not sure exactly what the cleaning method is you can read the instruction manual and you just want to clean it because you know dust and sometimes the birds they sit on it and they um they poop on it and stuff like that so you just want to keep it clean so it can collect as much sunlight um i found that um two of my caps from heavy wind they would gradually work themselves off and just fall on the ground and i i kept looking out wondering why my light wasn't coming on and i thought i had an issue when i went out i realized that it was only the the bottom um half that was sitting on the post so um just have to uh go out and um check them when it gets cold you really don't want to go out and check them but you know um it's your investment so yeah um another tool that i had to use because i didn't put the uh, caps on immediately when the post was installed so this has nothing to do with the cap but the cap has to get sacrificed um because some of the posts they expand as i showed you in the video and some of them they crack um one of that one post i'm going to keep an eye on it i'm probably going to zip tie all the way down um if if it keeps cracking the way it is um i'm hoping it doesn't um my fence guy told me i didn't really need the cap but um you yeah, you obviously do um so i have this um little dremel here and um just have a little um a little wheel you know you put in here and sometimes you have to kind of grind down the ends of them for them to fit over the cap but um the the, the, the process is not um it's not complicated it's not rocket science uh, i didn't really um find too much information about these uh specific caps and um how to install them and um certain certain things i would need so i figured this would be an immaculate video to um to um kind of shed a little bit more light on them and i've had them now have these uh the fence up now for uh, since uh about uh let me see august or june july august september october november december so about five months so um if anything changes i'll let you know the long term but for right now, for the last five months, what I've experienced is, you know, just keeping them clean, checking to make sure the caps are stable. And um, like I said, the installation, just sometimes you want to kind of sand this down a little bit to get them over the cap. And like I said, it's not a defect in the cap itself. It's just the post they expand um, if you don't put the caps on immediately. Screwdriver, a drill, a bit. And um, you know, go through the instructions first before you do um before you start any installation of anything. Make sure you you know you know exactly what you need. Um, but hey, we don't. I don't remember the last time I I went through an instruction. You know, it's a learn as you go for me. Uh, that's why I renamed my page Trial and Error. Hey man, I'm I'm 32 now. Um. You know, when I was younger, I had a lot of car stuff. You know, I was anything in cars. I was out there watching street racing and all that. A little bit older now, I got a family. So most of my stuff will, well, I would say all of my videos will not include excitement and all that. So this particular video, um, some people may like it, some people may not. Um, my videos are, are going to be very diverse as I am um, expanding, I guess, my, uh, my, my way of thinking. Um, possibly thinking about going in the stocks so in the stock market so you know i'm i'm not going to say i'm all over the place but i want to expand my horizon a little bit more so um you know i'm doing about fence you know 10 years ago i would never even think about getting a fence in a yard i wasn't even thinking about having a, a yard with a fence and all that but as time progresses and having a child and stuff like that you know you um you, your mindset changes so, hey, man, y'all can like, share, subscribe. My videos will be very diverse. Every single video will not be for everyone that's viewing it. But um, you can you possibly may know somebody that's thinking about getting a fence for next year. And, um, you know, um, 
the fence itself if you guys want me to do a video about this the fence um i didn't install it but i i was very involved in the whole process so i can kind of give you some understanding of what to look out for and um and stuff like that um thinking about going to do some christmas lights now putting them up all over the um the tree so yeah man when i had my apartment i didn't even have to worry about none of this mess but you know you're evolving you got to evolve with the world as it evolves so one love stay up stay blessed stay strong